Okay, so that looks like it's uh, installing. All I've done is got the full the file from XDA, which is the same as the Lenovo servers, the same size and everything like that. So you can get it from either one. Um, change the name to OTA.zip uh, and put it in the root file directory. So we'll go back out and just go to the main storage, which is here. There's the main first directory and it's down at the bottom there and then to install it I went to about tablet and then system update and then I tapped this about 15 times uh, the version number about 15 times that then releases the menu and in this menu section you'll see install update from zip uh, mine's obviously gone because I'm installing it now. Uh, you'll see that. So, yeah, that's hopefully the way to get this booted, and I'll find out what it's like in a minute. Okay, so it's just rebooted. So let's have a look. Okay, so it's just rebooted, uh, and I've just unlocked it. Let's see what this is like. Let's go to settings. Oh, so we've got. Uh, window snapping it's saying yeah done let's go down to the bottom about tablet right so we are on the new version 17.0245 uh, oh yeah that's different we've got some stuff here about I'm guessing multi window yeah so we can got this little window menu that we can snap Let's do a check for updates again. For ZUI 17. Some slight changes to the menu down here as well. And then let's go to, yeah, so we're on Android 15. That's very good. ZUI 17. Game Assist. Yeah, so we've still got the gaming menu. Um, what else? Display. Now the the one that I there's something that I wanted to check was the Dolby Atmos. So Dolby Atmos. So it's set to dynamic. It's turned on at the minute. Um, and I really want to check. Uh, so slight changes as well to the menu. Let's do. What video apps do I have? Let's do YouTube. Hey, can I swap this farmer's bread for your cordless drill? Are you out of your mind? No way! It's freshly baked. Hey, your freshly baked. Just head over to Tesla. I built this desk to be the perfect workspace, but it's not quite there yet. There are some efficiency and organ... Right, so... Uh, there's sometimes when you read XDA posts and you see that people are having problems, um, sometimes it's not always the build. I, I noticed this about when I upgraded to Android 14, there was loads of comments saying uh, how bad the build was, how pro how much problems they were having and, and things like that. But when I used it, I had zero issues, uh, you know, and everything worked fine. Um I'm just going to launch a game just to double check that we can do that. And yeah, there's the gaming mode. We've got performance, performance mode. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I'm going to do a bit more testing. I'm going to get my controller out and do a bit of gaming. Um, just to see that that's stable and I'm not having any problems with the touch uh, and like I said it, it's always worth watching videos like this of someone who has installed it and gone through it just to see that the bugs aren't maybe as bad as people are making out um, or it's maybe just a, a per device issue you know that it's other things that are causing it so yeah this is just a quick overview of the build I will make a full breakdown video uh, when I've had about a day or so to test it.